Hello everyone! Hi, hi guys! Dane here! And um, welcome to my monthly small booktuber shoutouts video. Now granted, not all of these are small booktubers, but these are all booktubers that I watch and who I want to spread the love for, with, to you guys. I have not formed sentences very well today. I apologise for that. Let's just get straight in to the booktubers. Bear in mind, as always, all the links are below if you want to go through and check them out, as I encourage you to do so. So, alright, booktuber number one, Roya Eve Reads. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know Roya. She is from New Zealand, I believe. She's in her 20s. She reads quite a wide variety of stuff. That's kind of why I like her channel, is that it's rare for me to find, like... I guess a booktuber who doesn't just read YA or whatever, who reads a wide variety of stuff in kind of the same way that I do. So some of the recent stuff that she's been reading, I'm sure she's been reading like Daphne du Maurier recently. Take my word for it that she has great taste in books. She does a lot of reviews as well, which not a lot of people take the time to do these days. And I always love a good review. She's always very honest, but also very constructive. She just seems like a really nice, genuine person who has good taste in books. And that is all you need from BookTube. And actually, her video quality is really well, like really nice. I like her backdrop and stuff. And I'm pretty sure she just shoots on an iPhone. Works for me. Looks good. Alright, number two we have Jen Bernardini, and I think I said her name right. Jen is a King fan, so you can expect a decent amount of Stephen King, but she'll read some other stuff as well. What she does, which I quite like, is that she will give a chance to like the hot new releases, but she won't just like them because everyone else likes them. She always has her own opinion, and I really respect her for that, and it makes all of her videos worth watching, because you never know what she's going to say, but... You know, I always kind of, I can see where she's coming from every time she, even if she gives a book that I liked a bad review, I can understand why. And that's a really good uh, trait to have, I think. So definitely check out Jen's booktube channel. Number three, we have What Cass Read. Now, I like Cass because she's she's developed this love for Robin Hobb. And I've never read any Robin Hobb. I'll hopefully get to it at some point. But... I like how enthusiastic she gets about Robin Hobb to the point where I go into her videos now expecting her to mention Robin Hobb at some point. I, I mean, I have probably mentioned Robin Hobb as many times in this video as Cass mentions Robin Hobb in one of her videos. So if you watch her channel, you can expect a lot of love for Robin Hobb. Also, me and Becca like to play, like, spot the handbag because sometimes she got the ha her handbag on her, her chair behind her. And I believe she has, like, a beauty channel as well. So there you go. Okay, number four, we have Graham Quigley, Mr. Quiggers. Graham is a Scottish booktuber, so that's all you need to know. He's a really nice guy, really friendly. I, I, I like his, at the end of his videos, especially if you've done a haul, he'll like, he'll do a cheesy grin, and he will tell you he's about to do the cheesy grin, and then he does his cheesy grin for the thumbnail, and it makes me laugh a lot. Graham actually had quite a long hiatus. He was one of like the first booktubers I started to really, really enjoy watching when I was getting into making booktube videos myself, you know. And uh, yeah, he had a hiatus because he broke his camera and then he was ill for a little while. But he is back on the scene now and I'm excited to see what he comes up with. So go and check out Graham's channel. Number five, we have Final Blow Joe. Now, Joe is a big fantasy fan. He's pretty good friends with, uh, I've forgotten her name, but her channel's Carla Nardi. Is it Rachel? I think it's Rachel. And uh, he always gives her shout outs. So I figure if I give her a shout out in Joe's shout out, it's kind of appropriate. Joe hit 1K recently and did a QA as well, Q and A, but basically from Joe's channel, you can expect a wide variety of kind of sci-fi, well, SFF we'll say, and uh, but adult SFF. And he reads a lot of the greats. Like you, you could talk to him about Asimov, for example, and he would he would have a good conversation with you about Asimov. But um, Joe is also from Birmingham, or he lives in Birmingham, and that's like ten miles away from where I grew up. So that's pretty cool. I would like to meet up with Joe at some point when I'm in Birmingham. We'll, we'll wait for like some, like some book. Well, they wrote there are the book cons in Birmingham, so I'll have to go to one of those. Joe, hold me to it. Hold me to that. And everyone else, go and check out Joe's channel. Okay, number six, we have Harriet Rosie. And what can I say about Harriet Rosie? There's not already been said. I actually, basically, I included the shout out because I've realized I've never given her one. And I feel bad for that. She's one of those channels I've been watching for years, probably two, three years, pretty much since she started, I think. And since way before I started actually booktubing. She's been getting into a lot of crime and true crime recently, which I find really interesting. At the same time, though, she's also looking to move house. I think she's moving in with her boyfriend. And so she's been talking about growing her own sort of uh, vegetables, which I think is super cool as well. I mean, I've just gone vegan. So freshly grown vegetables 
sounds good to me. And uh, yeah, she has a really, again, a wide variety of kind of tastes in terms of what books she likes. She also does a lot for the community. So she runs the Bookish Stars Facebook group. She runs the Thrillerathon. We actually co-created a tag together recently. So she's just she's just a busy girl. And uh, yeah, a lot of respect for Harriet. And definitely go check her out. She, to me, she's one of like the... Uh, the, like the pillars of booktube you know there are certain channels that i look at and i'm just like you know this channel is important for booktube the the community wouldn't be what it was without harriet so there i said it i got mushy all right next up number seven we have pucks and paperbacks Alyssa. so Alyssa reads a lot of lgbtq plus she reads a lot of kind of ya a bit of romance as well and she reads a lot of gen genres that I wouldn't necessarily normally read, but I kind of pick and like I cherry pick from what she reads. So I'm like, wow, that's that one actually sounds really good, you know. So um, yeah, she does a lot of stuff like that. She's getting more kind of involved in LGBTQ uh, activism as well, which is super cool. She did a video recently where she got her uh, friends and well, she got a family. She got her family to guess like common booktube terms, which is the inspiration for the video that I did when Becca and I were doing that. And she's just a really nice person. And again, she's one, she's been creating for years and she, she doesn't quite have the recognition she deserves. And uh, so here, here is a little bit of that recognition, Alyssa. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, number eight, we have a novel crawler and this is Jennifer. She's really like, she's got a really soft voice as well, which means I can listen to her for hours and like not get annoyed. So particularly things like her journal updates and uh, things like that. She, you know, she keeps book journal and I, you know, I could just binge on those. I mean, I don't because I watch them as soon as they come out. But maybe, having said that, I do feel like going back now and watching like 10 of them in a row. Because she's just such a chill channel, a really nice person. And again, I, I just like her videos. That's why I'm saying you should go and subscribe to her. Number nine. Number nine, we have Weird Reads. And uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name. I am very sorry. This is the problem with the screen name generation. It's very difficult sometimes. He reads... Quite a big variety again. Uh, he did recently say he's never read any Shakespeare, but he has gone to see some Shakespeare. So that's, you know, all right. But um, yeah, he was talking about maybe doing like reading the Shakespeare and then going to see the play straight afterwards, which would be cool. But at the same time, he'll talk to you about Stephen King. He'll talk to you about a bit of anything, to be honest. He's a, a nice, like, a nice guy as well. Just a good channel to watch. And number 10, we have Min Kobayashi, and I think I said her name right. And Min is a writer as well as a booktuber. She kind of predominantly does booktube. She does a bit like me, where it's like mostly booktube, but every now and then I'll be like, oh, by the way, I write books and you can buy them. Yay. And again, just a really, really cool person. I actually really like her name, if nothing else. But reads a nice variety of books. Some of her tags are interesting as well. I think we don't necessarily always agree, but we can always have a decent debate as well, which is what I look for in a booktube friend, you know. So yeah, go and check out Min. There we have it. That is it for this month's shout out. So as always, please do go through and check out the stuff in the comments below. You can literally, if you're on a computer, just like hold control or command or whatever and click all of the links, open them all up in 10 tabs, hit subscribe to all of them, sorted. Subscribe to me as well if you haven't already done that. Let me know in the comments which of these booktubers you like as well. Let me know if you've got any booktubers you think I should check out. And if I haven't, I will do. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.